Okay? As promised, I will discuss what family means to me by discussing my family. I hope it reaches you and you can say, damn, that's my family too. First off, my mom. My mom is a bookkeeper. She goes out of her way to support and provide for me, and I love her, even though I don't always show it her that often or say it often enough. But people in my situation know what I'm talking about. Being a bookkeeper, I know she's not a librarian, as some people think once thought, and you know it's you. She works insane hours during tax season, leaving me home alone all day. I don't know if you recall, but I have monophobia, or fear of being alone, especially in places where people should be. I'm going to pass on talking about this, but I may discuss it later in the season, if you would like. Feel free to email me at bipolaropposites119 at yahoo.com if you want to know more. Anyway, my mom always comes home with food, a drink, or a slushy or a shake. They have no one but me. Not everyone has a mother who would do that. My dad? Well, he's my dad. Has he been there for me? Not really. He abandoned me when I was 13, coming back into my life when I was 14 with a bombshell that he was moving from New York to Texas. By the time I was at my dad, I was miserable. I made several suicide attempts, I acted out, and I was diagnosed as bipolar. Did I resent him? Sure. He left me at a pivotal state in my life. Did I forgive him? Pretty much. Granted, we had a major... In 2014, well, my dog Casper had just passed away, so I was vulnerable at the time, but we thought of an abandoned period and realized those were the worst two years of our lives. We talk almost every weekend. After all, I'm 28 years old, and I have both my parents alive. Not everyone can say that. So God bless me with them, and no matter what happens, I appreciate them for as long as I have them. My dad eventually went on to remarry when I was 15. First off, it was a shock to me. He had told us going to Hawaii on a family vacation, and upon his return to Texas, it was, it was his honeymoon. It was a major what-the-fuck moment. I didn't even know if he was back together with her. Do I wish you saw her? Sure. But she's with my dad. She makes my dad happy, so I guess I have to respect and accept this fact, which I do. My aunt is a textbook case of narcissism. She's diabetic. She's got emphysema and constantly needs an oxygen tube. She's morbidly obese. She's lazy. She's narcoleptic. She expects it to be Expect to leave you served. There's so much negative things that they are, but I have so there's so many positive. Mm, er, nope, can't. My uncle has pretty much always been there for me. When my dad abandoned me, my uncle stepped in and treated me like a son I, I never had. He never had. Those who are Italian will get that. We on rides together. There used to be a comic book store right by their apartment. My uncle always treated me. We had McDonald's, which was also right in the area of the comic book shop. To this day, we still watch the fireworks on Independence Day. In 2002, I was hospitalized. But he spent the whole admissions process with me, even letting me fall asleep on his shoulder. He's had several changes since then, but he is still my uncle, my godfather, and will always care about me. My cousin is a remarkable woman. She's always been good to me, and I love her sister, my sister. She works her ass off as a manager hotel, and is in constant contact, so needs to run in at any time of the day, which says a lot about her. She cooks, she cleans, she takes great care of my aunt, and she has a big heart. So that's my family. Crazy as they are, they're still my family. I had everybody has those kooky family, family members, and that you can relate. I'd love to hear about your family. Email me at bipolaropposites119 at yellow.com anytime you want. I always appreciate fan mail. Which I have never gotten.